What's up? COVID-19 cases in Indiana continuing to drop. That is encouraging indeed. With less than 500 new cases being reported today, thousands less than we were seeing back in January, in fact. And hospitalizations, those are going down to below 700 for the very first time since July. We're actually sitting at 677, 34 newly reported deaths, sadly. Still people dying from COVID-19. Fox 59's Eric Graves got a first-hand look today at a former COVID-19 ICU. Is that between all these spikes, this is as hopeful as I've ever been. Dr. Warren Gavin is a hospitalist at IU Health. Each day when he comes in, he looks for the yellow carts that sit outside of COVID patient rooms. When you don't see a lot of those carts, there's a little excitement. We have uh, 24 beds here, and at times, every single bed was filled with a COVID patient. Gavin and his team were thrust into caring for sicker patients than they used to as hospitals were overwhelmed with COVID-19. The yellow carts at every door, um, all of us were all gowned up all the time. We would always have our gear on just because we would just constantly be having to, to go from room to room. But now the hope is an end to the pandemic may be near. A lot of trepidation in, in saying that because I said it before. He has said it before, specifically to us just more than a year ago. There's a different level of, of confidence. Um, I think one, because the, the numbers are down, and, and two, because I think a lot of the, the frontline healthcare providers have been vaccinated. Now, after another year of continued COVID waves and seeing Omicron be more transmissible and less severe, Gavin is more hopeful than ever. It's hard to predict. You know, you, you hope that it's going to be a downgrade and, and kind of, you know, natural history would tell you that, hey, this is the way that viruses act. That hope spreads across the floor to people he's been working with throughout the pandemic. You can breathe a little bit easier. Um, just the, the whole dynamic of things. Reporting in Indianapolis, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.